thoughts on DJ's video of him throwing it in Texas. Uh, I think I'm very encouraged. And you know, I, I beat him up a lot. I really have, but he's, he's slimmed down. He looks like he's lost at least 15 pounds. I would say maybe 20 pounds. He slimmed down. He looks good. Now I know a lot of the naysayers are always going to be out there, but for me, if a guy picked your university and is showing that he's trying to improve his, his skills, I'm not going to beat him up in the off season. I don't understand Clemson fans that say they're diehard Clemson fans on their bio and then go and torch DJ for practicing harder or, or, you know, it's not his fault. These things get shared on social media. A lot of people say, well, he shouldn't be posting, do, do these in quiet. Don't post it on social media. He didn't even post this. This is not him. This is like rivals guys posting this. So I think there's, we got to, as Clemson fans, don't nitpick DJ, you know, so much to the point where, when you see he's trying to do better uh, and improve that you still just talk about how terrible he is. I know he's got a bunch of mistakes. I know he's got a lot of things to work through, but for me, when I watch a video like that, I'm encouraged. He goes, he went to 3d QB in Texas. Matthew Stafford's gone there. Jared Goff's gone there. Matt, my, uh, Matt Ryan, Dak Prescott. It's not like some, you know, backwoods thing in fountain Inn over here. This is a legit, uh, training camp facility not only teaches about biomet uh, metrics and different things with throwing motion and things like that but also with um with his his eating habits and other things too outside of the playing field so i don't know houston we'll start with you what do you think about those videos were you encouraged or or what yeah as encouraged as you could be um you know you're not going to really know until pads get put on but at the same time you know it seems like he's getting a little bit more confidence back in where he throws it um, you know, he, he made some pretty good throws in the short films that it was. And look, if anybody's getting mad at this, if, if, if there's anybody actually dogging him for putting this up or being a part of this, it just shows me that you were a part of a time, you're a boomer that was not a part of social media, that you have not been able to accomplish half of what this kid's been able to accomplish in half the time that you have. So really just shut your mouth. That's what I got to say. Let this kid practice and let him get better because I can tell you this. I will be super thrilled if DJ does great and just shoves it right back in their face at the end of this. And you know what? Mickey Plyler's mentioned this on his show a lot. And even Big Dave mm. has come out on Twitter. I mean, to be honest with you, his, his mom and dad are going through a rough patch right now. Well, I don't know the whole details about it, but when you're a young kid and you're – thousands of miles away from home, thousands of miles away from mom. There are players every single day almost getting into the transfer portal to go back home. So DJ could do that, but he has chosen to fight and stick with it and stay at Clemson. And remember, he picked Clemson a long time ago. And you as a fan picked Clemson a long time ago too. So there was something about Clemson that you loved and that DJ loved too. And again, you know, it's not easy – my old boss used to say, "When when you when your when your house is out of order, it's hard to have the business in order." And I think that might be some of the things that happened to DJ. Al, what are your thoughts? Look, I, I'm guessing, I'm I'm hoping y'all are talking about the same clips that I saw. And there's like there's like two or three five second clips. It is yeah, all yeah, that I really. Saw. Okay, so yeah, I mean, look, I, I like the fact that he was slimmed down. He, he appeared to be anyways, seemed a little lighter on his feet, so that was good to see. But yeah. I'm not really encouraged necessarily by anything I saw. I don't. Th I'm not. I'm not encouraged by throwing against air with no pass rush or anything like that. And and hey, this is coming from a guy that was the leader of you know the DV DJ defense train all year. Uh, yeah. and I'm the guy that said, hey, you know, there's a lot of other moving parts to this thing. You know, whether it's O line, whether it's coaching, whether it's receivers or any of that stuff. Uh, and so I don't think a lot of it should have. I think DJ got a lot of uh, undue blame uh, when. I was well aware he had things, you know, he needed to work on. He's got a lot to work on for sure. Um, but I just thought, I thought there were so many factors that went into this and, and went into his, you know, his bad season, uh, you know, his underperforming season. And so, like, I, I hope he gets it all turned around. I can't really tell anything from those videos. But, yeah, as long as he's doing what he thinks it takes to better himself and to lead this Clemson program, I'm happy for him. I'm all for it, and I'm pulling for him. Well, you know, even the – best quarterback the cockiest quarterback with the best uh, skill players around him wide receivers could not win the super bowl after getting sacked seven times so there's more than just being the greatest quarterback with the greatest skill players around you you have to have protection too we know dj struggled with that 
uh, you know, being able to stay in the pocket when literally there was no pocket. We saw many times where a left guard, right guard, left tackle, right tackle was basically lost and allowed the pass rush to get to him. So there's a lot of things that need to clean, get cleaned up. And then on top of that, you know, it's when you're, when you are accurate, they drop the ball. So <laughs> not just one thing. And it definitely wasn't just DJ. DJ.